the quality target product profile provides an understanding of what will ensure the quality, safety and efficacy of a specific product for the patient. It describes a design criteria for the product to form the basis for development of the CQAs, CPPs and control strategy. Examples of QTPPs are the root of administration, dosage form, container closure system, bioavailability, strength and stability. Critical quality attributes are product characteristics that have an impact on the quality of a product. CQAs are generally associated with drug substance, excipients, intermediates in processed materials and drug products. They are physical, chemical, biological or microbiological properties or characteristics that should be within an appropriate limit, range or distribution to ensure the desired quality. For example, some critical quality attributes for a drug product are those defined in pharmacopoeial analytical monographs like the physical attributes, identification, assay, impurities, content uniformity. The CQAs should be identified during the development phases by prior knowledge, experimentation and risk assessment. The goal is to identify the relation between the CQAs and the critical process parameters. The identification of CQAs is based on the severity of harm to a patient, safety and efficacy, resulting from failure to meet that quality attribute. Therefore, it should be identified before considering risk control. CQAs can also derive from the Quality Target Product Profile, QTPP. A critical process parameter is a parameter whose variability has an impact on a critical quality attribute. That's why it should be monitored or controlled to ensure the process produces the desired quality outcome. Critical material attribute, CMA, is a physical, chemical, biological or microbiological property or characteristic of an incoming material that should be within an appropriate limit, range or distribution to ensure the desired quality of the final product material. The CMAs that come from the input materials and critical process parameters affect the outcome of the critical quality attributes. The qualification process can be performed using the V model, named after its characteristic V shape. The left side of the V shape represents three steps. Step one, system assessment and planning. Step two, system specifications such as user requirement specification, URS functional specification and design specifications. Step three, system development. The right side of the V represents the execution of system qualifications and system validation. Installation qualification, IQ, operational qualification, OQ, performance qualification, PQ. Both sides converge during the build and unit testing phases at the bottom of the V shape. Thank you for attending this course. I hope you find it useful and that you have learned what you expected. See you in other courses at SciLife Academy to continue your learning journey.